So what problem is XM Pro solving? For us, real-time operations is real. Every day, your business is exposed to more and more internal and external events that need to be responded to in real time. And these events can come from the actions of people in your business, the actions of your competitors, customers, legislators, suppliers, uh, equipment that break down, process failures, uh, severe weather events, the operational intelligence that you gather from all the other business systems that you have, all the other data sources and web services, and currently we've seen the influx of information from Internet of Things with sensor-based or smart uh, device or machine-borne data as part of this deluge of information that come at you. Now, how you respond to these events is really the key. And the value of real-time information that you receive on when things are happening or likely to happen depreciate over time. So when you know a certain condition exists, you have limited time. And depending on what it is, what the event is, um, that time span that you have to, to respond to it varies. So you want to be notified when these things happen. Now, for us, event intelligence is that ability to still... Um, impact the outcome of the event so it's typically as you see here the sand still flowing before it lands and it settles then it becomes business intelligence then I can do reporting on what were my failures what were the losses what we're trying to do with event intelligence and the problem that XM Pro is solving is how do we how do we impact the outcome of an event by having the ability to intervene now this sounds um, very straightforward but why is this hard it requires subject matter experts to understand, have the knowledge and context of the problem that needs to be solved in real time. Then you need to be able to uh, do the data engineering, bring that real time data in, do the orchestration before you can create an application of that in terms of a digital twin or a, if, uh, 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 application that can, that can inform you of the event that's happening. And most organizations have a challenge just putting these three foundational things together. When we talk to operations managers, what we hear they say is they just don't want to be blindsided by business events or operational events. And this is not just in a certain area, but it's actually it spans across all the areas in terms of the, the actual production manufacturing processes, the asset health and performance, the um, environmental safety, uh, risk, uh, people and HR processes and more and more supply chains, uh, all these events and the combination of events causes a real headache. Now this is where a common operating picture provides information at all levels of the organization to be able to address that. What we also hear is that they want to reduce the reliance on third parties to create this competitive advantage because their subject matter experts in the business have a deep understanding of how it works and most of the technologists, uh, uh, reliability engineers, automation engineers, um, geophysicists, people like that, the, the, the technical um, business technologists um, have more and more technical skills. They are technologists. So what you want to do with them is give them the ability to, to take some templates and blueprints and uh, expand on those to create this. So, for that, you, want, you really want a no-code application, composition kind of approach uh, for those subject matter experts. They don't have to code, but they understand exactly what they want to create and do that in a composable fashion. The last thing we hear they say is that they want to digitize and automate event response. So the real objective is to be able to bring all of the data from all these different systems that you already have in the business without ripping and replacing them and automating that so that there's real-time de event detection and response. And this needs to be scaled out in a large complex organization. So for that, again, you would want no code integration with the orchestration and automation capabilities. Now, this is where composable digital twins enable you to actually create that event-based common operating picture at scale. The notion of a common operating picture actually comes from emergency a natural disaster response as well as from the military where at a strategic a tactical and operational level everyone looks at the same data but from a different perspective so it's all the same data at the same at, at the different levels but different perspectives on how this is used 
and the common operating picture from at the strategic level uh, may have a higher level in just in terms of KPIs and monitoring across a broad range. At a tactical level, it's more of a planning uh, uh, lens that is applied. At an operational level, it is what is happening on a, in a very specific area around a specific asset or production process. Um, and you want that common operating picture to be agile so that you can change it as your business strategy or some of the business conditions change. You need to be able to do that uh, quite simply. And you, want to, you also want it to be composable and maintained by your own SMEs and bring in the data from all the systems that you already have to give you automated prescriptive recommendations, making sure that uh, different people have the same uh, actions on the same data set. So to create consistency across the organization and being able to capture the knowledge from experts in your business and in future support that with AI and machine learning. And this will enable you to close the loop on actions. It will provide a very consistent way of dealing with uh, certain events happening in a, in, by providing prescriptive re recommendations and a key aspect is that you can actually use this to create a self-validating digital twin that continuously monitor and validate um, as it sits. Now how this common operating picture fits into your in most typical organizations you already have um, assets that have sensors, SCADA, PLCs, all of that. There's, hundreds of different systems in your business already, historians, ERPs, all sorts of operational databases, and uh, we're seeing emergence of AI and machine learning tools and a whole bunch of other third-party applications. And what you're trying to do is manage that through people, processes, and technology automation that you may already have. So how you respond to that when things happen. Now, the first part, as we mentioned in um, the event intelligence part is being able to take the data in from all of these different systems. How do we take the signals, the data, all of that um, into and take the millions of data points and reduce it to the, the key uh, events that we are looking for, whether they're production events, asset um, uh, health events or ESG um, and other risk based events as well. So how can we take all those signals, provide context to it and then use that and the key few events that we've, that we've identified, that event intelligence, create that common operating picture at the strategic, tactical, and operational levels. All the same data, um, nothing upwardly filtered to you know, make it look better when it gets to the highest level. Everyone looks at the same data, but different lenses. And this provides the real operations intelligence or the common operating picture that enables people, processes and automation to actually deal with that event response and the disruption management that is associated with that. The other big benefit of using a, a tool like Exxon Pro to create that common operating picture is you can bring prescriptive or you can create pres prescriptive recommendations for, at all levels in a very consistent way. You can also bring in alarms and alerts from other systems into this common operating view again to make sure that recommendations are consistent across the business. So Exxon Pro in itself, uh, well, the, the, this enables you to empower your, your smartest people to pull the, the, the value levers that align with your, your business at all levels. It reduces the risk of being blindsided by key business events that are happening or likely to happen. And it improves accountability and close the feedback loop that provides visibility and the opportunity for learning.